What's up everybody, Seal Liquid here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Bluvio Turbine T4s, Bluetooth headphones. All right, so today I got some new headphones to review. Um, if you've seen any of my older videos, you will see that I also did a review of the Bluteo T2 turbines, the T2S to be exact. Uh, these headphones are still holding up to this day, although I did have to do a few modifications to them because anyone who has owned the T2s know that they have a flaw where the band underneath here is made of plastic and after some time it cracks and pretty much become useless for wearing so i had to make some modifications when that happened to me what i did was get two little metal bands that i placed one on this side and one on the inner side and then duct taped around over the parts where the band had broke on the headphones and on this side as well and now they're back to wearable and still working um, they don't look the best with the black duct tape around them but I mean I mainly use these just for um, like around the house watching TV listening to music around the house from working outside doing something I'll use these because I don't really care if these get all sweaty or what have you and I also have some um, other cheaper headphones some Intone headphones, which I also did a review of a couple weeks back, the Intone P6. I use those for the gym because they're lightweight, and again, I don't mind them getting all sweaty or anything. But anyway, the Bluteo T2s are still working after all this time. I do a little modification for the headband breaking, but they still work. So I needed some new headphones to use for work. Cause I listen to uh, my headphones pretty much all day in my cubicle at work and walking around so I need some better headphones so I said hey the T2s are still working so let's see what else Bluteo's got so I checked Bluteo's um, offerings on Amazon and noticed they had T3s which were going for around $36 somewhere around there and then I saw the T4s and I saw a uh, discount for these that brought them down to 33 so I was like okay if the T4s fourth generations are going to be around the same price range as the T3s let's skip right to the T4s I mean the fourth generation's got to be better right you would think all right so I picked up the T4s and first off, the build. They're metal, which is a good thing. And it's metal on here as well. It actually has little notches on it. I don't know if you can see those notches, if they'll come out in the video, but there are notches on here on both sides. So you can actually line them up the same on both sides, which is nice. These do not fold up. They just fold like this and they only turn in this direction they don't turn in both directions but you can lay them down like that but they don't fold like the t2s's did so they're not as compact but hey you can't have everything um the fact that i have the metal now so i don't have to worry about this snapping i mean i believe this is metal underneath here i don't know I mean, I can't feel metal all the way around, but I know at least this part here going up is metal, which is where the others would snap at. So that's a good thing. Um, I like the way these look. They have like the little, um, kind of looks, I don't know how you describe that, kind of like a record look to them. It's hard to see the little grooves in there on the video, but they have like a little swirly look to them it says Bluteo on it and I mean they look like really professional to me and they feel I mean they're heavy compared to these I mean these are like toss 
plastic here, like literally plastic. And these, you can feel the weight on them. So they feel really premium, even though they don't cost the premium price. So as far as the build, I love the cups. They fit inside my ear, or my ears fit inside the cups. Comfortable on my head, they don't squeeze. I mean, I have, I mean, average to small ears. I mean, they're not huge. So my ears actually fit inside these and it doesn't bother me. I've worn them for, you know, six hours at a time at work. Well, not six hours straight, but taking them off and on and wearing them throughout the day at work for six to eight hours. I've had no issues with my ears hurting or anything like that. They felt pretty good. So the build, definitely good on these. Um, let's move to the features. Again, these are Bluetooth. And it actually surprised me that they have USB-C connection on the bottom instead of the micro USB. I'm not sure why they went with that because USB is pretty USB C is pretty new. So uh, I do actually have a um, my Nexus 6P which has USB C. So I do have some cables and uh, a charger that will work with these. But it's kind of weird that they went with USB C. I'm not complaining, but it's just the first headphones that I've seen that have gone that route. Um, Bluetooth. Um, noise canceling. Here's the switch on the side. I don't know if you can hear these. Let me try to turn them on. See if it picks this up. Power on. See here they just powered on. And then over here on the side, it's a little switch for your noise canceling, active noise cancellation. You see the light turns green. You can make that out on the video, which means the active noise canceling is on and noise canceling is off. Um, at first you may think that's the power button to turn the headphones on, but no, that's actually the active noise canceling. So, just so you know when you get these, or if you get these. Uh, here on the right hand, you can see this is the volume up and down, and also if you hold this, it's forward for the track that you're playing, and hold down, and it's reverse for the track you're playing, or to go back to previous track. Um, you also have your multifunction button. Hold this down and it powers them on. Hold it down and it powers them off. And hold it for like two seconds and it also activates your uh, voice assist. So like your Google Now or your Siri. Um, you just heard it said phone connected. I guess it connected to my phone or something, or maybe my TV. But anyway, um, you hold this down for two seconds, you get your Google Now or your Siri. I don't have an iPhone, so I've only tested this on Android. Worked fine, didn't have any issues. I don't really use that feature for anything. I usually just pick up the phone and use the phone itself. It's a lot easier. And the uh, sound quality on this also for the microphone isn't really that great. I mean, the T2S has actually had better microphone on than these. I don't know if it's just the way these are built or where the microphone's located or what, but it's not really that great. I mean, it'll get you by if you need to just make a quick call to someone or just answer and say, hey, I'll, I'll, what's going on? I'll call you back, blah, 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 something like that. They're fine. Um, this button here is for your, what is that button for? I've literally gone blank on that. What the heck is that button for? So this last button here at the very top is the pause play. Not sure I could have swore the multifunction button also call, did the pause and play, but apparently not. So this is the play and pause button when you're playing music, which is strange. Well, I guess it's not that strange. Anyway, um, so yeah, all the buttons are on your right hand side ear muff and the other side has nothing uh, so let's jump to sound these sound if I was doing a scale of 1 out of 10 I mean honestly I'd probably put these at like a 6 they really 
don't sound that great. I mean, if you're listening to, like I listen to a lot of sports radio at work. That's mainly what I listen to, you know, like your ESPN or Fox Sports, you know, radio shows or sports talk shows. And I mean, it sounds okay for that. Nothing fancy, but for music, really aren't that great. I mean, I'm not getting any bass much at all from these I mean you get a little bump here and there but nothing like the T2's the T2's bass is ridiculous plus it has the the built in um, equalizer selections if you hold down the two buttons it gives you uh, different equalizers that you can select from so you can increase the bass or turn the bass down maybe if these had that I would give these a higher score but there's like no lows really to it. It's got acoustics, but like no lows. The highs are okay. Even those are kind of muffled, I would describe them. And the mids, again, the voice is probably like the best part of it. Really brings out the vocals, but yeah, I can't give these a good grade on sound. I'm just not getting an enjoyment out of the sound which is the whole reason you buy headphones so sorry Budio. I mean I'm not seeing these as an upgrade to the T2S's uh, so let's jump into the Bluetooth connection which is the bane of these things the bane of my uh, trial with these things I've had nothing but issues. These things connecting and disconnecting, having to connect, trying to connect to one device, having to disconnect from another before I connect to the other device, which I didn't have with the T2S's, which makes no sense. The, the newer generation ones would have more issues with connecting than the older generation. Like the older T2's, I could be listening to my phone as I walk into work and then sit down at my desk, turn my computer on. As soon as Bluetooth starts up on the computer, the headphones will connect to the computer while still connected to my phone. So I don't understand why these can't do that. I have to disconnect from my phone and then go into my sound settings on my uh, computer and connect these headphones before they will connect. That makes no sense that these will not do what the older generation did perfectly fine and the sound on these are not as good as the old generation I mean you had everything going here I mean look at these things they look great what were you thinking why did you scamp on the sound I just don't get it so yeah um, for that reason I'm actually returning these I cannot deal with the connecting and disconnecting issues and the sound. I mean, if they fix those, you know, I would probably raise the review because everything else about these is fine. I mean, they're great. I mean, I've had people compliment me on these, but I mean, if I can't enjoy headphones for what headphones are used for, especially Bluetooth headphones, then it doesn't matter how great they look they're useless to me so yeah bottom line is I'm going to be returning these and trying out a new set of headphones and I really love Bluteo I mean they've been good to me like I said these T2's are still going to this day um, so yeah I'm kinda disappointed so anyway um, yeah the battery life is the last thing um, I get I don't know if I listen to, like I said I listen to these all day at work off and on so if I'm listening let's say average six hours a day I'm getting probably two days usage out of them 12 hours 12 13 hours somewhere around there depending um, I don't know what it said the actual battery time is supposed to be it says 16 hours music talk time uh, under 
active noise cancellation, you know, about 16 hours. I'm getting, you know, 12, 13, maybe 14, so I've never gotten 16 hours, I'm sure. So, I mean, I guess it's all in what you do and whether you turn them off and leave them in standby or whatever when you're not wearing them, but yeah, I'm not getting 16 hours. Um, the active noise cancellation, I really didn't feel like it made a difference. It cut out the sound, like reduced the sound quality even more, which was a bummer. I mean, I could still hear people talking. It, it didn't really cancel out anything. I could still hear noises if I knocked on my desk or something like that, something bumped, I could still hear it. I almost heard it less when I had it turned off and just had the full, you know, acoustics of the regular sound. I heard things less around me. I mean, the cups, my ears fit inside the cup, so that was kind of canceling out things anyway. But yeah, the active noise cancellation, again, not, didn't do anything for me. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be honest here. Um, again, the call quality, I would not recommend them for any lengthy calls. I mean, I, I didn't test them like outside. All the calls that I did try on it where I was indoors, you know, in my house where it's, you know, not really noisy, so I don't know how they sound outside, but the person on the other side said that they could hear me. It just kind of sounded, you know, hollow. Not They could tell that I wasn't on my actual phone. That I was using something else for the call. Um, the recharge time is pretty slow on these as well for the amount of hours you get. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of bummed. I really am because I really, really enjoy the T2S's. Cheap price, great sound. They were awesome, still awesome. So when I went to the T4s, I'm saying, all right, it's fourth generation. I'm skipping over, you know, a, a generation straight to the fourth. So these have got to be even better than the T2s. No, I mean, <laughs> at this point, besides the build quality and look, the T2s's are better than these. That's just my opinion. You may not think so, but as far as I'm concerned, the T2s's. If you just need some cheap head Bluetooth headphones, I would go with the T2S's over the T4's and save yourself some money. I just gotta give it to you straight. I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not paid by Bluetio. I don't work for Bluetio. I don't have any stock in Bluetio. So I'm just gonna tell you straight my opinion. That's all I can say. Um, other than that, it's your choice. I mean, there's other videos on YouTube. If you want to check those out, I can't speak on how they, what their experiences was with them. But this has been my experience. And buy them at your own discretion. I guess that's all I can say about them. So these are the Bluteo Turbine T4 fourth generation Bluetooth headphones and I'm CO Liquid and I'm out. Peace.